In this video, I'm going to show you how you schedule your live streams with StreamYard to Facebook. Hi, my name is Desiree and I'm here to help you grow your business with better social media and content marketing. Before we dive into how to schedule your Facebook live streams, I want you to go grab my freebie that I have for you down in the description, which is going to be free overlays that you can easily change out the text in so that you can have a really wonderfully high quality professional live stream that's gonna make you look like a local news channel versus just some person in their room or basement. Now let's head over to the computer where I'm going to show you how to schedule that live stream with StreamYard to Facebook. Scheduling into Facebook, you will need to make sure first that you have the right destination in place. It's important to note that you cannot schedule a live stream at this time to a profile. You can only do it to Facebook pages or to Facebook groups. So once you know your destination is in, you're going to go to broadcast and hit create a broadcast. And you're going to select the Facebook page that you would like it to go to. You're going to put your title in that you have. Um, description for the video. Again, you should have this all worked out ahead of time. You can just copy and paste it in. Then you're going to hit schedule for later. So first things first, have your thumbnail. Now you should create your thumbnail again ahead of time because it's more work to have to go into the Facebook scheduled post to make it to adjust it. It's a, it's a whole lot of extra work and a huge headache. So have this done before you go into schedule and stream yard. The size that you're going to want to have is a 1280 by 720, which fits in here. And conveniently enough, this is the same size that you will need for YouTube as well. Okay. Um, you, these, this box is to make sure that it fits the way you want it to fit. You just hit apply and there it is. Then you're going to want to schedule it for a specific time. So it's going to use your current time zone as the default setting for here. So make sure that you are aware of that. So whatever your computer time zone is set to is what it will do it for. So this is going to be a live stream that I would do at 12 p.m. Mountain Time. So that's 11 a.m. Pacific to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then all I have to do is hit create the broadcast. Now this pops up in here as scheduled. And when we go to Facebook and we click on our post tab, you can see that it was scheduled here. Now this is really helpful because then you're going to be able to promote it to different places, get people to get that reminder for the invite, and then they get the notification for when it is going to go live. And then they're going to get that little notification. It's important to note that you cannot boost a scheduled live stream. You have to go live finish the live stream, and then you will be able to boost it once it is approved by uh, the Facebook system. Facebook does not want to promote it in the event that there is something sort of scandalous or inappropriate that happens during that live stream. So it's to protect them and you from any nefarious activity that would happen. So when you go back into StreamYard, you can go into the broadcast here and get all of the information that you need to invite any guests that you have. If you want to set up all of your graphics on the side, so I encourage you to like empty out any overlays that you have, put them into the order that you might need them for the broadcast. Um, add in any backgrounds that you have, and then of course get that invite link so that you can send it to any guests that you're going to have. When you're ready to go live, this scheduled part will go away, and then you can hit that go live. You cannot go live until this time or later. As a little extra piece of information, let's say that something happens and you cannot make this stream or you did something wrong and you need to change it, you can just go into more over here on the side and hit delete, and not only will it delete it from StreamYard, but you can also delete it from your Facebook page as well. And that's it. If you're looking to figure out how you can schedule your live stream to YouTube, watch this video right here. And until next time, I'll see you soon.